Hi, Kali B. Salam, salam. Anda mana tu? Kali B. Hi, Don. Tana, saya remaskan. Second. So. Yeah, now I have it. Multi participants can share, so you can do yeah. that. Okay. Can you see the screen here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. So here I just have a little, I have a little presentation about migration and more specifically excellence through migration. And we have lessons for many, many biblical characters. So to begin, we want to define what excellence is. So excellence, excellence is a mindset. It is a mindset of resolution. And uh, you can see this basis in the OPS, otherwise known as origin, problem, and solution. And um, you must always seek to keep a good spirit because many, many problems are not in the physical realm. You know, much of the, many of the problems is actually in the spiritual realm, you know, and that's why it's very, very important to keep a very clean and healthy spirit. So you can always seek the resolution. So now we do have an equation that was derived by Dr. Todd de Salamayo, and it is that the excellence is proportional to the product of illumination of mind, which is E times knowledge and principle. And ignorance is inversely proportional to excellence. So illumination, once again, is the uh, is a constant e, and that means illumination of the mind, and that is the brightness of the mind that is received from God, and Jesus Christ from creation, and knowledge is the increased awareness and the the familiarity of any anything at all, any sort of information. So moving on, we have the relationship between excellence and migration. Now the first thing. I think is the most important thing, which is that the Lord is my shepherd. And that is in Psalm 23, chapter 23, verse 1. And what this means is that the Lord always guides our excellence. Everything and anything is accomplished through our Lord. And that's why it is important to pursue him and his word and his way, ultimately, in order to achieve excellence, of course. You know, so any excellence begins with migration. And we will shortly discuss the many, many characters that God initiated, you know, this massive dynamic excellent plan, you know, including Abraham, Moses, and ultimately Jesus Christ, right? So immigration is the change of direction. And God is very dynamic and he works through this change in direction. And we see in the Bible, especially, that all excellent people have migrated. There is no excellent person that has stayed static. There is no excellent person that has stayed in one area or in one sort of mindset or in one, you know, sort of static state. And, you know, they have ever been successful. It's impossible. So here we have... The enemy has fallen. This is a very, very important principle. Satan was cast down from the heavens like lightning, clearing the way to heaven. And in Revelation chapter 4, verse 1, we see, After this I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. What that means is that when you are pursuing excellence, the door to heaven is always open. Anyone and everyone has the same potential and the same opportunity to pursue this dynamic excellence. But, but the biggest problem that we must overcome is the awareness and the acknowledgement that Satan, Satan, is always trying to prevent us from achieving this excellence. He is what interferes on this in the spiritual realm. He is what tries to you know tempt us and to distract us, and spiritually and physically and in every single realm of you know possible being. Satan is always trying to 
prevent you from achieving an excellence. So now we have the first example of an excellent person. And here we start with Abraham. Abraham's call to leave his homeland. In Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3, we hear, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth will be blessed through you. So once again, this is a very, very good example of how God will call you. God always has a calling, but if you're not excellent, you will ignore the call. If you choose to be ignorant, you will once again deny the call of God, and you will ignore his plan and his intention and his dynamic destiny for you. But Abraham, on the other hand, chose to listen to God. And such, Abraham begins his migration and furthermore, his, his, his rise into excellence. Because we see that Abraham was actually, his first name was Abram. You see here, no longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. And that is in Genesis 17. Of verse 5. So what we see here is that God is very dynamic. He works in many, many amazing ways. Abram changed to Abraham after he displayed an obedience and after Abram was, was elevated into, a, mm -hmm. into this level, into this, into this threshold of excellence, he even now became Abraham which means the father of many nations. You see, Abram was at once a static. Abram was once just a static individual. You know, he was, he, was just, he was just a regular person until he heeded God's call and then ultimately evolving as an individual and becoming one of God's strongest shoulders. And we will shortly discuss the the you know the connection between your between your god-given name and what your destiny will be because there is a connection there and you know ultimately you know abraham's obedience led him to becoming this great you know this great individual this excellent individual next we will analyze joseph now, Joseph's introduction to migration was not as simple. You see, it says here, Joseph was forced into migration as he was sold as a slave into Egypt. So we see here in uh, Genesis chapter 37, verse 28. So when the Midianite merchants came by, his brothers pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silver to the Ishmaelites who took him to Egypt. So whether or not Joseph knew it or not, Joseph was already on the path to his God, you know, destined into his God, you know, preordained path of excellence. Forcibly, it wasn't even by his choice. But once again, God, nothing is static. Nothing is predictable. You know, with God, you know, everything and anything is a possibility. But unbeknownst to him at the time, he had already begun his, his way into that you know, path, you know, Joseph was sold into the slavery, beginning his migration unbeknownst to him and the destiny of excellence that awaits him. And then here we have, you know, Joseph's rise to power and excellence. In Genesis chapter 41, verse 41 to 44, we see, so Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his finger and put it on Joseph's finger. He dressed him in robes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. He had him ride in a chariot as his second in command, and people shouted before him, Make way. This he put him in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, but without your word, no one will lift hand or foot in all of Egypt. 
So here we see once again this, you know, this this connection between, you know, this this migration, whether or not it was forced or if it was, you know, in, in, intentional or what, if it was ordained. Regardless, there is this migration that ultimately leads into a very very mighty excellence. You know, now Joseph went from this, you know, slave who is sold by his brothers for only 20 shekels of silver into now becoming a very dynamic and powerful leader. And, you know, arguably one of the best pharaohs or leaders in Egypt to exist at the time. You know, so what this displays is that you must always have faith in God. Uh, you must always have faith for he always has a plan. And you may not even know what the plan is. You know, the plan is not, may not be this, you know, this scripted, you know, scripture that is, you know, just that is known to you automatically. No, you know, that's why faith is very, very critical here, because that's the ultimate, ultimately faith and obedience is what leads to excellence. Here we have Moses. Moses is another example of one of our examples of, you know, excellent people from migration. So here we have in Exodus chapter 12, verse 31 to 33. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, up, oh, leave my people, you and the Israelites. Go worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds as you have said and go. And also bless me. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and leave the country. Or otherwise, they said, we will all die. So once again, Moses. Moses is Moses. Moses is one of the best examples of, of exactly the, you know, what it means to be obedient. What does it mean to be a humble and loyal you know, follower, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you become God's strongest soldier? And Moses took this call because God called, God called upon Moses to do a very, very big task. This was a very, very challenging and very, very sophisticated challenge that he gave, he put upon Moses. But Moses, without complaining, he accepted it and executed to the best of his ability. So now we see in Numbers chapter, in Numbers chapter 12, verse 3, just what kind of a leader Moses was. And it says here, now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. And ultimately, that was reflected in his leadership as he was a very, very good leader, you know, taking, leading the Israelites from Egypt and away from, you know, the, all that chaos into salvation, Moses was the one in charge that God had the most confidence and faith to perform the task. And Moses did so successfully, ultimately leading him to become, once again, an excellent person. Here we have Ruth. Ruth is <laughs> migration to Bethlehem. And in Ruth chapter 1, verse 16 to 17, we see, but Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. So what we see here is Naomi. There is a character, Naomi. And Ruth was very, very adamant. She was given a very, very strong strength and faith in the Lord. And as such, she decided to, 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 to become dynamic and to become excellent. And she decided to follow Naomi, ultimately, you know, initiating her migration her path into excellence. So in chapter Ruth, uh, Ruth chapter four, verse 13 to 17, we see, so Boaz, 
took Ruth, and she became his wife. When he made love to her, the Lord enabled her to conceive, and she gave birth to a son. The woman said to Naomi, Praise be to the Lord, who this day has not left you without a guardian redeemer. May he become famous throughout Israel. He will renew your life and sustain you in your old age. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you and who is better to you than seven sons, has given him birth. Then Naomi took the child in her arms and cared for him. The woman living there said, Naomi has a son, and they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. Now, once again, this highlights the connection that we're that we're you know sort of forming here, which is whenever God has a calling, whenever God has a plan for you, and once again, going back to the uh, equation of excellence, ignorance is the inverse proportional of excellence, meaning you cannot be ignorant and excellent. So if you all, if whenever you ignore a God's plan or whenever you uh, choose to deny his will, then you will fail. You will not become excellent. But in this case, Ruth was then blessed for her obedience and her excellence. She gave giving birth to a son and once again, becoming the great grandmother of King David, which will, which he, he himself has one of the biggest impacts in the world, you know, and he himself is, becomes a very, very excellent person. And even in the verse, it says, you will conceive a redeemer. And a redeemer is one who reclaims what has been taken or lost, you know, and he, like David, ultimately ends up becoming very excellent. So we also see, you know, a pattern, a relationship between excellent people. Excellent people will always give birth to more excellence. You know, there's an excellence pool as well. Now, Daniel's migration to Babylon. So... In Daniel chapter 1, verse 1 to 6, we see, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord delivered the Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, along with some of the articles from the temple of God. Those he carried off to the temple of his God in Babylonia and put the treasure house of his God. Then the king ordered Ashpenaz, chief of his court officials, to bring into the king's service some of the Israelites from the royal family and the nobility. Young men without any physical defect, handsome, showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well-informed, quick to understand, and qualified to serve in the king's palace. He was to teach them the language and literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years, and after that, they were to enter the king's service. Among those who were chosen from some from Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Now, with this, once again, just to summarize, this shows that Daniel is was was is taken to Babylon. Daniel is being forced to, you know, to assimilate, to adapt the Babylonian culture. And in the next slide, we will see the names that was assigned to, you know, the Babylonian names that were that were assigned to all four of these individuals. But at one point, you know, they were being forced to 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 to, you know, understand and and assume the Babylonian culture. But they were but Daniel was very, very resistant. Daniel always had God's plan in mind, which is what takes him into his uh, future excellence. But here we see the importance of names, right? Here we have the God-given name, we have the meaning, the Babylonian-derived name, and then the meaning for that. So here we have Daniel, and the God-given name Daniel, the meaning is God is my judge. But when he was in Babylon, it was Belteshazzar, and that is a completely different meaning. It says Bel is a god of Babylon, or Hananiah, which means God is merciful, but the Babylonian-derived name is Shadrach which is servant of the moon god, or Mishael, you know, which means there's none like God, but the Babylonian name is Meshach, which is a shadow of the royal, and then you have Azariah, 
which is God is my helper, and, you know, his Babylonian derived name, which is Abdenego, which is a servant of the moon, morning star. So you see here the connection between the names and your destiny, right? Because, you know, on the left-hand side, you have, you know, your God-given name and, you know, this wonderful meaning. But on, you know, and you have a meaning that, that you know, that somewhat pertains to your destiny and what, you know, what your what plan you are meant to fulfill and what purpose, more importantly, the purpose you are meant to fulfill based upon your name. And then when you have the Babylonian derived name, it is completely different. It is a destiny that is not good. It is bad, right? You know, so, you know, that's why Daniel never ever accepted his Babylonian name, you know, because it meant that, you know, it was a, you know, a different purpose that was being put on him, which Daniel refused. And so we hear in Daniel chapter 6, verse 3, now Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. So Daniel, once again, some, I guess, I, you know, maybe even similar to Joseph, you know, he was put in this position where, you know, he was being forced to, to, to adopt a different purpose, you know, where their, where their purpose and their, and their call to God was being challenged, but through persistence and faith and, and, and consistent obedience, they overcame those hurdles and those, and, and, you know, that struggle aligning themselves with ultimately their purpose, their true purpose and into a life of excellence as you know we see here he daniel dis distinguished himself through his exceptional qualities here we see esther esther was a very esther is a very very interesting case because she ultimately becomes queen here we see in esther chapter 2 verse 7 that he was bringing up hadassah that is esther the daughter of his uncle, for she had neither father nor mother. The young woman had a beautiful figure and was lovely to look at. And when her father and mother died, Mordecai took her as her own daughter. So when the king's order and his edict was proclaimed, and when many young women were gathered in Susa, the citadel in custody of Haggai, Esther also was taken into the king's palace and put in custody of Haggai, who had charge of the women. And the young women pleased him and won his favor, and he quickly provided her with her cosmetics and her portion of food. And with seven young women from the king's palace and advanced her and her young women to the best place in the haram. Esther had not made known her people or kindred for Mordecai had commanded her not to make it known and every day Mordecai walked in front of the court of the harem to learn how Esther was and what was happening to her now when the turn came for each young woman to go into King Asarius after being 12 months under the regulations for the women since this was a regular period of their beautifying six months with oil of myrrh and six months of spices and ointments for women. When the young women went into the king in this way, she was given whatever she desired to take with her from the harem in the king's place. In the evening, she would go in, and in the morning, she would return in the second harem in custody of Shagaz in the king's unit, who was in charge of the concubines. She would not go in the king again unless the king delighted in her and she was summoned by name when the turn came for esther the daughter of abihel the uncle of mordecai who had taken her as, a, as his own daughter to go into the king she asked for nothing except what had guy the king's eunuch who had charge of the woman advised now esther was winning favor in the eyes of all who saw her and when esther was taken to king Osiris and to his royal palace in the 10th month, which is the month of Tabith, in the seventh year of his reign, the king loved Esther more than all the women, and she won grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown 
on her head and made her king queen instead of Vashti. So, you know, while that was very long, what we did see very briefly was the fact that Esther, Esther who had chosen to become dynamic, Esther who had chosen to not remain static, she went from becoming a commoner all the way to becoming a queen. And you see in Esther uh, chapter 4, verse 14, she displays excellent leadership qualities as she saves her people from destruction. Very briefly, Esther chapter 4, verse 14. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place. But for you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go gather all the Jews to be found in Susa, and hold a fast on my behalf. And do not drink or eat for three days, night or day. I and my young women will also fast as you do. Then I will go to the king, though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Mordecai then went away and did everything as Esther ordered him. So right here, what we see is this is one of the reasons why God selected Esther to become the queen. You know, there is always a reason for, for excellence. There's always a reason that God has perceived when he when he calls upon someone to to uh, you know to 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 execute upon their purpose you know to rise to their purpose to rise to what they were meant to be who they were meant to be right so esther calls upon everyone to fast and not only does she command the people to fast she also fasts herself and in this time she gathers the courage and the wits to request again, once again, to save her people from destruction. Think like highlighting her, her, her strong leadership qualities as a queen and ultimately why she deserves to be the queen. And you know how she went from how she went from a commoner, you know, all the way to becoming a queen. We have Nehemiah. Nehemiah is another example of excellence and migration here Nehemiah Nehemiah returns to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem so Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 5 to 6 and we see here and I said to the king if it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's graves, that I may rebuild it. And the king said to me, the queen sitting beside him, how long will you be gone and when will you return? So it pleased the king to send me when I have given him a time. So what we see here is Nehemiah has, is being mobilized to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem as they had been destroyed. And Nehemiah, acting upon God's greatest orders and God's greatest wishes, will then continue to, you know, establish an expedition to survey the wall, assess the needs, and ultimately facilitate the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. And furthermore, Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15 to 16, we see the uh, so the wall was finished on the 25th day of the month Elul in 52 days. And when all of our enemies heard of it, all the nations around us were afraid and fell greatly in their own esteem, for they perceived that this work had been accomplished with the help of our God. So you see just how much. The mobilization, the migration, and the execution of Nehemiah's purpose, how that saved 
Jerusalem, Nehemiah was able to protect Jerusalem as as he he refortified their defenses and en enhancing Jerusalem's defenses. And what that did was that left all the nations, all the surrounding nations who may may or may not have who may or may not have a have a like an intention to maybe attack Jerusalem. Now all these nations were shocked. They were so surprised as how something like this, how an accomplishment like this was even possible. But once again, it was only possible through God. And here we have Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's journey to earth. And Jesus Christ ultimately being the greatest example of what a migration is. Jesus Christ being the ultimate migrator. So here we have in Philippines, Philippines chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. In Philippines chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. Who though, he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So what this means is that Jesus Christ is truly the ultimate migrator. He left, he left, he, Jesus Christ migrated from the right hand seat of God and he descends onto earth in a human form. And Jesus Christ perfectly executed his purpose, which was to which was to which was to give the people a pathway to God. Jesus Christ was the medium of the people, a confused and lost and sinful and chaotic people, and allowing them to find salvation through him. Not only himself being the most excellent person, but allowing others to reach excellence as well. And remember, the, gate, the, the way to heaven, the door to heaven is always open. And now Jesus Christ is now that, is like, you know, is like this elevator you know, like the staircase, you know, like the, the direct pipeline into the door of heaven, the direct pipeline into excellence. And he delivered the Holy Spirit and spread the word of God. And the Jesus's excellence and fulfillment of purpose. So in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, we see, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, Jesus Christ lived the most perfect life. Jesus Christ, once again, referred to as the founder and perfecter of our faith because he truly fulfilled his purpose to the best of his ability, even to the point where he's being bloodied and shamed and scorned and hated 
he maintained the purest, the purest heart. And he only had mercy and forgiveness for all that did him wrong. Jesus Christ was very, very excellent. And he lived the most perfect life. And he is the best example of perseverance and excellence. Once again, which is what makes the connection, which is why Jesus Christ is the connection between excellence and, and you know, eternal life and ignorance. You know, if you are ignorant, if you choose not to follow the way of Jesus Christ, if you choose not to heed the calling of Christ and to walk the life of Christ, then you are preventing yourself from excellence. So in conclusion, excellence is only found through obedience and purpose, through understanding your purpose and having an unwavering faith that you are acting on an excellent behalf. Everything is possible through Jesus Christ. And excellence is once again a mindset of resolution. And we must remember that God has a plan for everyone. And that plan always, always demands migration. You cannot become excellent from being static. You cannot become excellent by remaining in a, in a confined and restricted mindset, a mindset which leads to problems over solution, a mindset which does not accept Jesus Christ as a path to salvation. And it is only through obedience and faith that you will be able to realize your plan. That is the end of the... Uh, that's the end of the uh, presentation, guys. Thank you for listening. Hallelujah. Thank you. And God bless you, Kaleviye. Amen, amen. It was really a wonderful presentation. I don't have but, any words. Really. Wow. Yeah, it was really a wonderful presentation. I don't wow, have any thank you. words to, to express and to explain. Uh, you know, you are, you are talking about... Uh, uh, excellence, but here is uh, really an excellent presentation. And I will say something. But before that, uh, for a discussion purpose, because Kalevie, he has presented his paper. Uh, any questions you have so that uh, any question that uh, you can ask to Caleb so that we can uh, discuss on some topics, uh, I will give you some uh, minutes to, to ask. So that you know, uh, so that uh, it's something that you think others need to know, or something uh, questions that you have. Okay, if you have it, would have been good for for so that for discussion purpose. Okay. But I appreciate that, really, uh, Kalevi. Thank you so much. And God okay, bless you. amen. Thank you. Thank you. It was you. really a very uh, knowledgeable uh, presentation. Thank uh, you. I, I appreciate the fluency, how how it's like uh, flow, how it like uh, flows. And wow, uh, really, thank you, Tadden. Thank you. Thank you, Tadden. So for others, it's like it's also a blessing. Thank uh, you, Tadden. You know, all of us, we, we have to know that uh, this word of God or the Bible, it is written for us. Mm -hmm. You know, today we are not talking just about Esther, about Daniel, about Joseph, about Nehemiah, okay? But those are our examples. And why God has put all of those in this book is that so mm -hmm. that we can have some lesson from them, Okay. That's what Caleb we are here he has, he has uh, briefed us on Abraham, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, why is put about Abraham in this Bible? So that you know, this Bible is something that we can learn from that, so that we can guide our life. Okay, that's how you know the size of the Bible looks to be smaller, mm -hmm. but you know, 
it is made as a guide for our life. That's how, that's why we have to learn about these people. We have to learn about Abraham. We have to learn about Joseph. We have to mm -hmm. learn about Esther, Daniel. We have to learn about each of them. You know? So that, yes, yes. you know, what, what God has expressed in their life so that it can be demonstrated also in our life. So let's say if you are, if you are saying, well, why do I learn or why do I need to know about these people? That is why we need to know about these people. That's why we need to learn about these uh, people. Okay. Thank you, Kalevi. Really, I'm proud of you. And uh, really, uh, I think you can be an instructor for this class on this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, Caleb's Thank most you. interesting Thank is on this on this topic, especially the relationship between migration and, and, and excellence. excellence. And he was always summarizing for us in the class uh, mm -hmm. those parts. And really, I was really so uh, uh, really uh, excited when he was doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was my yeah, pleasure. This was uh, this is a wonderful uh, opportunity. Planning into excellence is is I think, in my opinion, I think this applies to everyone. Everyone I see, this is, has a has a massive value for everyone, especially just to just to give maybe an idea, you know, you know, just how can I be even a better person? You know, how can I be a more excellent person? How can I be a more, you know, a God fearing man? You know, how can I, you know, follow Jesus Christ more? I think this is a wonderful opportunity to answer all of those concerns and address all of those questions. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God is good. So, uh, you know, there is always a reason for, for anything. For example, why why we came here, okay? For example, there, there is what? A solution in the relationship between, so that God wants us to excel in life. Why, why we came to this life? Why, why we are born to this life? Okay? It's because God wants us to excel in life. Even, even we migrated from our country. Why, why, why we do that? So that, you know, we excel in life. You know, exactly. all those people, they have migrated and they, okay? And, but they excel in life. That is the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. That's why God is doing that. So, a migration that is with the purpose of God is always for excellence. That is always for excellence. Okay? Amen. Amen. I don't mean those, those migrations that are being done okay, without the will of God, but those migrations that are being done with the will of God and and with that has really a biblical uh, standpoint of view. Mm -hmm. and all of those mm -hmm. are, are for, for, for excellence. And that is that is here at the point. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yuri, I will leave the space for you. Okay. Um, yeah, Khalif, um, yes, you, are, you are wonderful. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thank thanks you. for bringing the spirit to this meeting. Thank you. Um, I guess you are a great guy and I'm, I'm grateful for your desire to know our heavenly father i think um i think uh, you are you are so blessed we are i'm yeah, proud yeah. of you and, 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 and i'm, I'm grateful for the your desire thank you and and i i'm also uh, like to to thank uh, um dr tadessa absolutely uh, for yes. for this uh for this class and and we uh, we pray that uh you may touch uh, uh, many, many people mm -hmm. like Caleb and like us. And, you know, I think mm -hmm. the, um, I think this class is, uh, is a wonderful um, place to, to, to be able to gather. Um, yes, yes, it is. And, and, and in, in Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 2, it, it says um, we, are, we are no more strangers. I think we all are. We are migrants, like uh, like Tadi say, mm -hmm. but we are no more strangers. We are all brothers and sisters of our heavenly Father. Yeah. So yes, I think yes. um, I think this is this is a great place. I'm 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 just so almost I had almost when during Tadi's presentation I have almost tears because because he has a great knowledge of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm grateful for that. 
Kali, bye. I love you so much. And thank you. Thank you. And, and learn this thank goes you. from. I think this is this is this is. I think I'm I'm just like, um, you know. I think I think I pray uh, you continue to to learn of um, the uh, our Father uh, in mm -hmm. heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thanks so much Amen. for the opportunity. Amen. 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 God bless you, Olivier. Thank you so Thank much you. for giving this uh, very important. Okay. Also, others, you can give him some uh, uh, something to uh, Caleb. Gurum, do you have anything to say? ካሌብዬ <laughs> Amen. 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 Tabaraki, God bless you, Amaruye. She is our backbone. She is our uh, prayer uh, mm. group leader here. Yes, yes. Uh, she, she is our What's collaborator. She is helping us really in prayer. So we'll continue uh, with this session <clears throat> also, and we'll have a prayer meetings. And after a while, we'll start also the next uh, class uh, as soon as we have also some more uh, people to get. Okay, Amelia, is there any anything to say, Amelia? Uh, yes, uh, that was an excellent presentation. Um, it was very concise. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, uh, it, you hit each point on on every person. I had uh, not seen um, these um, men of God in in this particular way of migration, and um, um, I love it. I love I love the concept, and I'm going to look for more information on this. You have uh, thank you very much. You have uh, given me that urge to look for for some more. There has to be. There's many, many more that have migrated. Yes, and, absolutely, there have. Yes, and, and to see, um, I hope you continue so that you can uh, continue impacting in the name of Jesus, other people, uh, so that they will follow his steps. God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much for your nice comments. Thank you very much. Okay. Amen, amen, Amalia. God bless you. Uh, okay, Amelia has really a key, a key heart to the gospel, and she likes to evangelize to people, and also uh, she meets with us uh, in, in this in this way. Hallelujah! God bless you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah! Bless you. God is good. Anyone who wants to talk, Eduye is here. Is Miti Mitiku and TG are there? Okay. Okay. Are you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Miti is here. Miti. Uh, so he's an engineer. His wife is uh, also a nurse. And okay. Uh, he will give us some some talk on on this on uh, Caleb's uh, presentation. Um. It is really a beautiful presentation, very nice, and like you got you all you all you know said it is a very concise and you know in detail presentation. It's very good, and that is really you know uh, you know it's it's really nice to hear from him. You know, at this, at you know, uh, uh, first I I would like to thank you know Doctor Tadessa and all you know, all the peoples around him that to make him, you know, you know,
follow the path of Christianity, the path of excellence, and you know, not to follow, you know, the path of ignorance and away from ignorance and follow the path of excellence and how, how you know peoples are migrated, you know, you know, all these peoples are migrated for one purpose, you know, is just because obedience. Once I hear in all this is to hear, you know, the word of God, to hear, you know, God what it says to, to this to get into the destination what God said. So 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 I think is um very good presentation. Very good to hear, very good. And I would pray always to you that you have to put this into your life. And this is exactly what you know I would like, you know, I would like to see you grow into this path, but and and exceed it. And you know, you know the word of God, you know the Bible, you know it. You know, you are, you, you exceed, obviously, from your childhood up to now, you are exceeding so many things, but, you know, you, I hear so many words from you today that you really need to put it into your life. So I think it, may God help you to put this, everything you said into your life. Amen. Amen. Thank I agree. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. God bless you, Jeremy T and TG. Uh, TG, if you have orders also. Uh, mm -hmm. at, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They are they, they, the Caliph's parents. Really appreciate them also for uh, allowing him to come to this class so that to attend uh, this class. I uh, appreciate that. If you have some orders, we can we can take that so that Caliph also can hear that one. I think she agrees everything with me. Yeah. That's what she said. You okay. know, <laughs> I know. Okay. Just you know. Kale biye. Have it. But I'm the Samil word. Not the one like that. This one for if to you know just you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and help you for the future. You know your life really. Now, and you know, with this, uh, you know, the one you said, thanks, you know, this all, you know, teach you, Dr. Tadesa and all his uh, team, mm -hmm. uh, thanks for all of them. Mm -hmm. So, Kalebi, you said in it, you know, the way you learned, and you really uh, just uh, then what we need. So, if this one, you know, applied, it will help you for your life. Uh, you know, for now and for your future life. So, Amen. 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 Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. You have to, you know, apply it on real. And, you know, uh, that's how I say God bless you. Amen. All Amen. Right. Mommy, thank you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Oh, it's really thank you, you know, yes. to, to give him all this, you know, for him chance and he had like you know, just uh, Amen. good for anyway. Thank you so Amen, much. Amen, mom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Doctor Hong, thank you. Uh, do you have something to say? Doctor Hong, she uh, graduated oh, wow. from this with this badge. Uh, yes. And uh, a word to say to uh, Caleb. She likes Caleb and she was eager to listen to Caleb's presentation. She was asking me uh, today, yeah. we have the, the meeting yesterday to, to hear Caleb's presentation. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Caleb. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you yeah, very much. I, it's very nice to meet I, you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I love your presentations. Um, Thank you very this, much, Patong. Yeah, it's. It's very meaningful, very thoughtful, very detailed, and I learned. I have learned a lot uh, from your presentations. So we proud of you. you <laughs> we much. are very happy. Yeah, we Thank are very, very happy. Thank you very yeah. much. We are, we're very happy to have you in our class. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Thank you again. 
Amen. Thank Amen. you so much, Amen. Dr. Ho. Thank you. She presented also for us last time about the Vietnam Holy Spirit. And okay. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm okay. sorry to bow, yeah. I'm sorry to bow my um my Wi-Fi last time. So <laughs> I I could not uh make my presentation well. So I'm sorry to bow that. That's okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much though. Wow. Eduye is, is also here. The, she is the first graduate of uh, planning into excellence. Eden's the first graduate, wow. Yeah, she's here. She can she, she she's able, she can give us the word to Caleb. Hello, Shaden. Okay. Guru, uh, do you have some words? Oh, I think most of them said it, but it was a uh, really good presentation and um from what i've seen you know from our previous classes as well uh you've done a really good job of summarizing what we've learned uh oh, thank you thank you uh yeah just even better better today uh just uh, bringing all that together into this thank class so, yeah yeah thank you very much Amen, amen. God bless you, wow. Rume. Wow. Rume also was a graduate. Uh, he was by himself uh, uh, during the past uh, sessions. And uh, I see Groom and Khaled, they have really, they are really so young and they have mm. really a, a big potential. Mm. Uh, really, uh, in, really in like pursuing uh, excellence and yeah. in, in promoting uh, this biblical excellence. Uh, so really, I have really a big hope on 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 these two young men. So I hope you continue also uh, with us following so that we, we gather together and uh, also carry the burden uh, these two to uh, others also. Mm. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, Room and Caleb, okay. Is that in here? <laughs> yes, I I'm here. Yeah, I call him. Oh, How was um, the presentation, Adam? Adam, did was, you like it? I liked the presentation. I, I was listening to it, to you talk. Um, It was a very good presentation, and I'm glad that throughout this planning of excellence uh, class, you were able to learn more about uh God and you know strengthen your relationship with him and learn more about the Bible. So I'm very proud of you for that. Thank you and very much, Adam. Presentation. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Uh -huh. Thank you. And thank you, Tadessa, for planning mm -hmm. all of this, teaching Caleb and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for giving us this brief uh talk. And for encouraging your brother, K also. God bless yeah, you. Of course. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You have to know that God loves you. God is with you. You know, uh, you know, always uh, God is trying to find a way always for you in, in, in really? your life. That means that is that is really uh, the purpose also. Mm. Uh, you know, that's why believing in Jesus means his son, that means always God is giving us like, or trying to give us like a way for us. Mm. Like, like, okay, every time, because uh, you know what Jesus said? He said, I will be with you through the whole of your lifetime. That means it's like mm. till eternity. He said, I am with you. Okay, so that means uh, really he doesn't fail or he doesn't like give up upon us. So, uh, and mm -hmm. it's silent, it, it says, Amen. You know, that, yeah. wow. that God rewards Israel, he doesn't sleep or he doesn't slumber. He doesn't, he never sleep. You know, he is always watching us. It's just like, you know, like a big general is watching to his troops or to his soldiers. It's just like that. 
So he's, he's like our big general, like he's like our big leader, he's our big, like who? Like shepherd, he's guiding us through our life. So he's always giving us a way, showing us a way. Yes? So the only thing that, that we need to do in life is to trust him, as Fekari already said, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, he gave us some preconditions. Yes, for yes. Excellence. Obedience, he gave us some preconditions. Faith is very important. Okay. Exactly. These are the things that that these people of excellence, okay, they showed or they manifested. What did they manifest? These two things. They showed faith, obedience. Okay? So that means we need to have faith in God. That means we need to believe him. We need to love him. When we love him, really we'll trust him. Okay? We love him and then we'll trust him. Okay? That is that is one thing. Then obedience, like what Abraham did. You know, Abraham, what did he do? When God is calling him, come out of your, okay, and I will show you another place. I will show you a way. I will guide you. I will guide you to, 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 till the end. You will go to the end with me. I will be in front of you. I will go. You know? Hallelujah. You know, that is how God is. God, he is really so Faithful, he's awesome. That means it's like beyond our our expectation. We can't comprehend him even, or we can't like uh, able to like explain or to speak about that. He is beyond all our our our, our like comprehension. He is so faithful. Come out, I will guide you. I will take you out. Then you know the good thing that Abraham did is that he followed him. He followed each step. Of God, he followed him. Then when he followed him, you know, at the end, he is where God has, like, uh, planned for him. So, God has always what? A plan for us. If you see Moses also, okay? Mo First, God met Moses where? In the bush. In the fire of the bush, yes? If you go and see the, the like, uh, Exodus, Okay? He saw him in the fire of the bush. You know, that is where God has told him the plan that he has for him. So that is where the plan has been exposed. You know? You know? There was where? There was God inside the fire and Moses was standing outside. Then he told him all his plan to his life. So he told him, you will be the leader of my people. You will lead my people. You will guide them. You will take them out. Exactly. Yes. And even if Moses tried to try to like uh, complain and try to uh, be like weak, and he said, "I can't do that. Who am I? Okay, I can't speak even." And no, that cannot be a reason. Exactly. Okay, I, I will give you whom your brother, your brother Aaron. He will be with you. And then he will speak with you. Just you will have the shepherd stick. You know what Moses had was the shepherd stick. That's what he had. The only thing, the shepherd stick. And God has trained him with the shepherd stick. So he was telling him to throw the shepherd stick on the ground. And then the, it became like a snake, and then when he tried to pick it, then it became again the shepherd's stick. You know, the same thing happened when he meets Pharaoh. When he meets Pharaoh, then all the, uh, you know, the ministers of Pharaoh, those, okay, who are trying to, uh, like, interpret the dream of Pharaoh, they were around. And then, you know, the, those, those ministers of Pharaoh, they, what did they do? They throw their what? Their stick. And Moses and Aaron, he throw also his stick. And both stick, they became what? Snake. They changed it to snake. But what happened at the end? The stick of Aaron swallow the stick of the others. Mm -hmm. You know? This one stick the other one. That is the difference, you know? When when we when we are in this earth, okay, 
Others also, they might throw the stick. You also, still, but if you remain there, Caleb said one good thing, do not stay static. You know, in God, in God, there is no way to stay static. You can't stay static. You have to move the, the water, you know? You have to move it. You know, you know, he, he, he said a good word, he's dynamic. You know, so that is what God is doing. It's a dynamicity, dynamicity. That's the rule of dynamicity. That's what we call all these people. How they move was in that way. You know, yeah. those people, they, 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 they are able to change the what? The stick to the snake. Aaron also changed that one, but the stick of Aaron swallowed the other. That is excellence. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, that is where excellence is. You know, that is what all these people did. You know, if you see Esther, is there any, is there no any other girl who can like uh be for that contest? For that beauty mm -hmm. contest, mm -hmm. the king, exactly. there were lots of them. Exactly. But her snake swallowed the other snake. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah, wow. Both of them they throw, all of them they throw. They try to make to have their makeup, they have they, they try to have their preparation with all those kinds of perfume, with all those kinds of things. Hallelujah. But you know. The stick of Esther, the snake of Esther swallowed the snake of the others. That is where excellence is. That is where we are better in God than others. That is where you are better than others. You know, unless that stick swallows the others, then we can't say that means we are static. We are, we are still there. Okay. So that is where the change comes. That is where that we say what change. So Esther become what? A queen. A queen. Yeah. But she is what? She's a Jew. She is from there, from back home, from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Okay, she moved the whole way to Babylon and then she became what? She became a queen. That's what. Caleb has tried to connect migration with what? With excellence. Exactly. Yeah. So she must she okay. She migrated, but at the same time, she became excellent. The same Joseph. So all of these people, what did they have in common? They have one thing that is God's. Oh, that is God's presence in their life. You know, God's guidance is in their life. So how does it come? Through obedience and through what? Through faith. Jesus Christ also, he's excellent. Yes. Okay? So. People may not mention it in, 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 in that way. And we might like to call like other people like sir. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not these people? So so that is the whole theme of this this uh class. Okay. Why well, okay? Why don't we call these people? So there are there are many people. Uh, Amelia said there are many people to mention. Maybe okay, you can go and you can dig there. If you take Mary. Mm, interesting. Okay. She was excellent. Yes. Yeah. And the other Mary, Mary Magdalene, mm -hmm. the first one who saw the tomb empty. You know, even, mm -hmm. you know, even Mary's thing, it was like, you know, even Peter and the others, even they didn't see that, that, that thing. Okay, they saw the, the, the empty tomb, but they didn't see Jesus Christ even standing mm -hmm. there like, mm -hmm. like, like in the heavenly realm. Mm -hmm. yeah? So all these people of God, 
they are excellent people. And that is why they are, they are where? In the Bible here. Okay? So we cannot deny that. The world may deny them. And they have denied them. But we can't deny them. Those who have the spirit of God, you can't deny that Jesus Christ is excellent. That you can't deny the others who are in the Bible or in the word of God. They are excellent. That means they what? Expressed that excellence in their life. Yes? So that is what we saw we saw uh, here today. Ruth, she was excellent. Yeah? So, if we really practice this, okay, as Mithi really said that one, if we really pra practice this in our life, yeah? Really, there is no way that, that we can't be like excellent. Okay? Amen. It is really like you can't say 100%. God is so faithful. Really, like I can't say that one. Whatever you are, in whatever situation that you are, anyone here, in whatever condition that, that we are, God is always what? Faithful. He is there to accomplish his mission. He is there to find a way for you and to guide you till the end. That is God's plan in our life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Uh, okay, so really today I want to bless Caleb and so that you know God, God will show him all his Amen. Amen. His uh, all the ways that he wants that in his in, in his in his life. Really, I am sure Caleb is finding the way of God, you know. So that means, okay, I am sure he is like trying to search, trying to get what is God's way for me. Okay, okay. How, how how am I going? And so, yes. So we all of us we will pray for for Caleb, uh, so that God really, uh, God really. Uh, gave him that, that that strength to accomplish really this excellence really he's excellent in his life yeah so that this will be demonstrated in this okay uh i can say in in, in this in, in his life and in his endeavors in whatever that he's doing in his education in his classes in, in whatever that 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 uh, he's doing so that uh god is doing that so we'll pray for him. You know, uh, you know. Uh, also, he mentioned also earlier the elimination of mind. Okay, that mind is already eliminated. You know, yeah. our, our mind is eliminated through Jesus Christ. You know, because when that light of when that light of Jesus Christ shines upon our heart, upon our mind, our mind is eliminated. So we don't have like a dark heart. Okay. Do not be disguised with that. Yes, yes. The only thing what we need is to acknowledge this light, to take this light for us. Amen. And to allow for God to accomplish his work in us. So really at the end, God will accomplish uh, what he has intended. Okay? In our life. Hallelujah. So, uh, what we do will be, we'll pray for uh, for uh, Caleb. Uh, we'll pray uh, so that he, my, his mind really excel. Uh, in life, I'm sure that Caleb will be a scientist. He is really uh, 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 an, an excellent uh, guy in this world. So we'll pray okay. for him in that manner. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I praise God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, thank you for this time. Thank you for this time. Thank you for giving us this time. You are awesome, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for this group also who are here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for guiding them 
so that they can come and they can uh, worship with us so that they can listen to the word of God. They can listen to this presentation also in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for Caleb in the name of Jesus so that his, his mind exceeds in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, when you were talking with Moses, you were in the fire. You were in the fire. You were talking to Moses in the fire. Now talk to him in the fire. Talk to Caleb in the fire. Make his mind excellent mind. Let it be all his mind, all his brain, all his body be in that fire of excellence in the name of Jesus. Let all his body, all let all his tissues, let all his cells, let all, all, all his emotions, all his mind are controlled by your presence, by your fire. Let the excellence get into his soul, into his spirit. Let all his brain cells be opened in the name of Jesus. Let he creates, let he imagines. Give him, give him the scepter that he needs to guide his life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, as you extend the scepter to Esther, and the king told her, what shall I give you? Even if, if you ask me, I will give you half of my kingdom. Oh God, stretch out your scepter today for Caleb in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the scepter guide him. Let him with you all the time in his life. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I pray also for all the others here. Guide them in their life, hallelujah. Give them the scepter, hallelujah. Lead them, hallelujah. For those who have attended this class, let them apply also. Let this not be like a theoretical thing, but oh God, hallelujah. Let it be like practical in our life. We pray that in the name of Jesus. I bless you, Caleb. Amen. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Be blessed and remain blessed in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Anyone <laughs> Okay. Amaru Yesama. Okay. Okay. God is good. Anyone who wants to add? There she is. Uh, you need someone? No, Daddy, let me pray. Someone. Okay. Okay, Dr. Hong. Okay. Pray for okay, pray and then pray okay. for Caleb also. Yeah. Dear God. Thank you for your guidance in helping us do the right things. 
Thank you for the food and shelter you have provided for all of us. We pray for everyone to have an abundance of good health, peace, and happiness. We pray for an end to war in this world. We love you and this earth. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. You only invite the Lord. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's let's pray. Hallelujah. Dear Lord, thank you for your numerous blessings along with this, this graduation, especially for Caleb. Uh, Caleb, God has a great plan for you. Um, may God um, grant you the, the desires of your heart and m make all your plans succeed, Caleb. We love thee and and we, uh, Father, we ask the, the blessings upon Dr. Tadessa so he may continue to touch the lives of many people. Um, uh, Caleb, uh, shine your truth into 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 yeah, your heart, and we ask to our heavenly Father to help you open your heart, your eyes, and and learn of the and and apply it into your lives, Father. We ask the the, the blessings upon to this meeting those who are here to bless to bless us in in our lives and. And we say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Any uh, anyone anything to say? Maybe she can't, but Thank you very much, Dr. Tadas. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. Bless you. Amen. I love you. Thank you for coming. Really, I appreciate that. Uh, Thank you, Dr. T. Coming here and so listening to that. So we'll continue our our, our, our uh, teachings. Now we'll continue for, with our prayer and, and so on and discussing on basic uh, Bible uh, teachings. Amen, yeah. And in, sure. uh, then we'll start our next class. Okay. Uh, I'm thorough. Let's do it. Yeah. I will send you a message. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Tabaraku, congratulations, Caleb. We have a rich target. Amen. Amen. Zaberi Barte, Dr. Tadi. Tagai, Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amaru Amaru ye mudkantun. I think kasul kwalal kwalal is masale. Geta maska. Hallelujah. Tabara kungde welcome gize. Amen. Tabara ko. Amen. Amen. Salam Amen. Bye.